Today, I have a working bowling alley in Minecraft. It's 100% functional and you can play an actual game of bowling as you would just like in real life. Before we begin, if you want to see more creations just like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell. Alright, so we are in a bowling alley and let's grab a random lane. We can click on this button to start, which will turn on this display right here with their name and current score. So let's get started. And you might notice these gadgets in front of each lane, which are supposed to be ball dispensers. And once we get a ball, we can put it down. Alright, and I'll give this guy a good punch, which will send it to the pins. As you can see, our score is displayed in chat. Right after our first throw, the indicators above the pins will let us know that we are ready to begin our second throw. We can get another ball and try to finish off the rest of the pins. Okay, that was kind of an embarrassing throw, but we have some epic shots later, so be sure to stick around. The display above my head will update as I knock down pins, just like a TV screen in a real life bowling alley. Unfortunately, we don't have those epic animations after every turn. So now let's go for round 2. These pins are armor stands with equipment on them that makes them look more or less like bowling pins. And the ball is a slime on top of an invisible silverfish and moves forward when hit. Okay, looks like we just got a spare which is knocking down all the pins in two tries. As you can see, it displays it nicely in chat. And that was a strike which is knocking all 10 pins in one go. According to bowling rules, the game automatically skips to the next round. This bowling mechanism was designed to be as close to real life as possible. In real life, there are two ways that pins can be knocked down. The first way is simple. Any pin that the ball makes enough contact with will be knocked over. Easy enough. And here, any pins in the ball's path will just be automatically knocked over. The second way, however, is a little bit more complicated. Thing is, pins can influence other pins, which in turn can knock down more pins, and so on. Which might remind you of the domino effect. To account for this, I used something called recursion which keeps track of pins knocking down others. Also, the pin falling animation is really a rotation of the armor stand by a certain angle. The fallen pins are swept in order to get ready for the next ball, and the turn indicators are also updated. After 10 rounds of bowling, the game will automatically end and will send the final results in chat. This score seems pretty reasonable, so that's how we know that this version of Minecraft bowling has a realistic difficulty. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks for watching.